anytime you first insert a graphic object in, in Storyline, a Storyline's default shape and color properties will apply. And so with the graphic that we just inserted, that we just created, you see this uh, very familiar, ubiquitous blue fill color that's common to so many PowerPoint and Storyline presentations. Now this blue color is actually coming from one of the built-in theme colors, which you'll find under the Design tab and over here under Colors. So the default theme, the theme that you always see when you first begin a new project, is the Office theme. Now we can easily change that by selecting one of the built-in themes below, right? As we hover over this, you'll see that the, uh, the graphic will change and uh, apply a new standard or, or default fill color. Now you can also just create your own theme, right? From the uh, starting Office theme to make your own colors. Now to do that, we just come all the way down to the bottom and select Create New Theme. And you can see that because Office Theme is selected, we're going to create a new theme color based on this current Office color uh, scheme. Here we go. And so a couple things here. The blue color that you're automatically seeing, that's automatically applied to shapes, that's this Accent 1 color right here. So you can see it's actually the fifth color over in the colors, but this first blue is the first blue that you always see. Now, we can easily change that. We can uh, select a different blue. We can open up more colors and uh, find a custom color and so on, and then continue to customize the rest of our colors. The thing is, is that that accent one is always going to be that first color you see whenever you insert a new shape. So if you have a color palette in mind or one that you're working from, say, from a client, you would uh, go through and continue adding your different colors here and uh, customizing this theme color. Now, once you have it where you like it, you can go ahead and name it. You'll need to name it something, hopefully, besides custom, because that gets a little hard to remember. New tab colors, test. Putting test on there because I already have a color palette that I created, but uh, name it, go ahead and save it, and then it's automatically applied to your shape. And you can find that back under the colors under the custom color themes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select my tabs just because that's the color palette that I put together for this project. So I almost always create my own color themes for my projects. It just saves production time since I don't have to manually change the color each time from the shape fills and coming in here each time and having to select a new color. Um, I like just managing it from the custom colors. So in the next movie, we'll customize our tabs text using our new colors.